GRT will definitely give us exponential gains where we can easily see more than a 10x once the bull market is here and on today's video I will be discussing my long term price prediction analysis give you an idea of structure that is playing out on the charts before I can briefly discuss what I'm expecting on the short term and before I do so, make sure that you check out Bybit which is giving you up to $20 in sign up bonuses and also earn up to $30,000 in deposit bonuses. You can also check out Bing X, which is also giving you up to $5,000 in sign up bonuses. And getting back to the charts, here on the charts, on the daily chart, I have an additive structure that I have been tracking since October last year, 2023 where we saw the bear market lows and after the bear market lows we saw a very nice bounce to the upside in a move that gave us a high above the 0.4947 in a move that I'm terming as an ADO12 count one and after we picked in that ADO12 count one we started a bit of a breakdown move in an ADO12 count two whose minimum pullback target areas I have highlighted here on the charts using this blue target area which is an area that I came up with using the Fibonacci, connecting the Fibs from the bear market lows to that high above the 0.4947, giving me a minimum pullback target area be between the Fib level 0.5 and the Fib level 0.78, which is the area over here, which is an area that we have now fully maximized and also continued to hold within. And there are high chances that we now have a low in place for this second wave. And in the next coming weeks or maybe months, we can start an aggressive bounce to the upside in what I will be terming as an ADO to have count three, whose minimum target areas can be given by connecting the trend-based Fibonacci from the low of the first wave to the high of that ADO to have count one, then dragging the Fibs to the low of the second wave giving me a minimum target area for the third wave at the FIB level 1.618 which perfectly lies above the 0.8229 and basing from the current prices that we have at the moment if we see an aggressive bounce to this significant target area over here that will be a perfect 5x to the upside then from that point we can expect a pullback in an ADO12 count 4 before we can continue gearing up even higher in an ADO12 count 5 and if that is the case and we continue being this ADO12 structure there are high chances that we can easily hit up to a 10x here on the GRT chart on the long term so that is my long term price prediction analysis and jumping to the one hour chart to now give you my short term price prediction analysis still basing it on the ADO12 structures I have this ADO12 structure in white which is a wave that I've been tracking since the 8th of July when we saw a bit of a breakdown move then we saw a bounce to the upside and after we picked in that ADO12 count 1 we started a corrective structure in an ADO12 count 2 whose minimum target areas I have highlighted here on the charts using this red target area which is an area that we have now fully maximized and yesterday after losing a significant key area of support at the 0 0.1882 after the FOMC meeting, we have seen a bit of a breakdown move taking us back into this red target area in a move that fully maximized the target area. And as long as we continue holding within this area, there are chances that we can get another bounce back break above resistance and significant highs in what could be the start of an impulsive wave in this ADO12 count 3. And if by any chance we lose this red target area and continue breaking down even lower, there are high chances that we can see an invalidation of this ADO12 structure in a move that can give us a breakdown move to the significant key area of support above the 0 0.165 which is over here so that is the price action that i'm expecting here on the grt chart for the next coming hours and also on the long term so let's be patient and see how that plays out and i will be keeping you up to date